Hello, gear tards. Since you guys have been wondering what kind of freaking guitars and gears I have, and if you haven't, go fuck yourself because I'm going to show you anyway. This is the multi effects pedal I use. Since I'm a freaking Mega Death Mark and I love Dave Mustang, how about his Zoom signature pedal? The GT1DM. It's actually a really good pedal. You know, turn it on. You know, get a little display case with that little cool thing. You know, you have ridiculous all these different amp settings, different all sorts of shit. And now you get to add delay, tone, and all sorts of other cool shit. <laughs> it's a really good pedal, very good investment. It's just you assholes buy buy one because this, according to what I've heard, this is like ninety nine dollars, like. Way cheaper for what I got. It. When I got it, it was like 200 bucks. Hell, kind of want to buy another one just, you know, in case. And since I do use a 30 watts line 6 amp, you know, if you can see it, hopefully it's not too dark right here. And this pretty much has about, what is it, six, six different channels. Strangely enough, hell, the little. MK2 FPV, which is small, and I'm not sure you can fucking see that. It has like a little wall pedal on it. Actually, hold on, let me see if I can turn this on and get a better idea. And this is actually really helpful, you know, when it comes to me switching out town and shit. Unfortunately, it only has four channels, and I really like the insane channel. I have to pretty much dial it in by hand when I. So when I freaking want to be lazy and sit down and play, and pretty much that's my amp setup. Well, until I buy, until I buy this freaking head and this Marshall 800 head and these Mesa boogie caps that I have in back order. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Anyway, you guys came for freaking guitars, so I will lay them out right in front of you. And here is guitar number one. Fuck it, get off the fucking stand. Get off! Fuck you. Fucking... Strap. Alright. This is the Sector Diamond Series Damien V1. I say this is the cheaper version of a... What you would say, of a Hellraiser, which predominantly has like EMG 81s and this is pretty much neck through and all the other bullshit. This one's pretty much bolt on. Which EMG ACs, the freaking passive versions of the 81s and 85s and all those other EMGs that you have. You know, two tone, two. No, two tone, one. No, what the fuck is wrong? One. Two volume, one tone, like every other fucking guitar I have. Toggle switch. You know, put a little pick holder right here so I won't have to, you know, search my pockets for picks and funny thing is I bought this at a Best Buy and I got it cheap because of this little dent right here I think I paid about a uh, fuck listen um, 180 somewhere around 200 and hell you know, good deal cuz hell I don't really care about the stacks I care about the playability and this plays real well you know really like really like the neck it's really it's pretty thick you know also like the little logo you got over there. <laughs> Real nice guitar, very good, very cheap. Well worth the price. Kind of think I kind of robbed the guys because hell, a little paint chip and hell, it was all it was in there for like ever. Plus I kind of, plus I kind of put this little scratching graphic right there myself using some sculpting tools. Okay, now let's look into the rack. Wow, a lot of these here, kind of like I like vagina. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go to the ones that are pretty much I don't use, and I'm gonna lay them down. <sighs> Holy shit, cobwebs! Cobwebs! In it. Well, look at this. This is actually my sec, the second guitar I actually bought. My first guitar was actually a those you know Fender Squire like rip off looking joints. You know, with the 102 single coil and a little shitty tremolo 
this is like a foot rolls or anything like that. And this is actually my first deed, and hell, I got creative with it. I put stickers in a fretboard, stickers in a body, and actually freaking glued this little Dean logo thing. I can't remember from where I got it from. I actually glued it, and actually, I got this from this little Tenwell app, which I pretty much gutted. Just like I gutted this. <laughs> You know, it's pretty much useless now because hell, I just tore it apart just to see what would be in there. <laughs> and um, it actually sounded really good when it had the shit on it. Too bad I'm a fucking asshole and I pretty much tore it apart. You know, that was pretty much just a big piece of wood. <laughs> and that's good at guitar number one. Let's look at good at guitar number two, which is. This EX50, this ESPLTD EX50, which I also dubbed out with stickers. Look at the fret marker on that. <laughs> it's a skull set of dots. I fucking hate dots. They're so boring. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get a, buy a ESPV because their V's are ridiculously long from what I've heard. And hell. This is pretty much the second best shape I actually like in the Guitar and Explorer shape because. This is like a mini Explorer. It's actually small compared to the, this Explorer I was playing when I went to like Best Buy and demos. And actually, this is an ex very experimental guitar because, yeah, I have the pick holder right here. I might just remove it because hell, this is probably gonna just be a little artifact or whatnot. And also, these are Zach Wild EMG pickups. These are the solderless ones, you know, the ones that you have to, don't have to solder with. And this actually had two knobs. I just drilled like a hole right here and just added another fucking knob. Just because I fucking can. <laughs> anyway, it still works, but it just sounds freaking ridiculous. Stupid. I think it's because of the covering in the back and the fact there's a cluster fuck of fucking wires in the back. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's bolt on. You know, finish in the back, which I really like. I hate the unfinished in the back. And yeah, there you go. Well, in the. A little ESP right there, and this one's made in fucking Indonesia. <laughs> Indonesia. Anyway, on to the final gutted out beat up guitar. I'm probably gonna sell to somebody. Oh, let's get my sword. This is a Kara King of. B1, which I ordered the other day for someone, but I ended up not freaking sending it, I ended up playing it, and I really hated the sound of freaking pickups that came with this, because these were like BC Rich freaking passives, and they sounded like shit, so I, hell, I took them out, gutted this bitch, and, well, and now it's pretty much just collecting dust. Well, got created with it. I don't know, I would probably never change this graphic. I'm probably gonna try to do something with this later on when I get the money. You know, maybe like get the, get this little unfinished neck freaking painted or something like that. I'll probably put some put some JBs on this. And so seeing we're done is pretty much the best pickups that I really enjoy playing. You know, still has the Kaler in there, which is the best treble I ever fucking played. <laughs> you know what? Oh shit, this fell from the other one. Oh, whatever. I'll put that back on. Anyway, that's the guitar. It's cheap. It's pretty cheap and whatnot. Bolt on. It's not like the cool Kerry King ones. Or, you know, it's, you know, neck through. Get in there. Get in there, fucking sword. I'm saying demons today. Ugh. Alright. Now we're gonna start from the beginning. And the beginning is going to be this newbie right here. You know, if you look at my YouTube page, you notice that I bought this like. Not so long ago, like a couple weeks ago, XA Jackson KV1. I think that's what it's called. 
Uh, all I know is that it's got these bev red bevel edges, which is, which are really cool. That really give it a really nice look. Fingerboard, fingerboard is freaking. Um, what kind of wood is this again? Rosewood, yeah, rosewood, with a sharp fin and lay. Funny thing is, because I already like rosewood, I like ebony fretboards, but whatever, this works. This is pretty good rosewood. You know, you know, HC pickups. You know. This is the only kind of EMGs I actually really enjoy, <laughs> you know. The only thing that really pisses me off about this guitar is the toggle switch, because one tone, one volume, I can't do the cool Randy Rhodes feedback thing thing, which I, which I really wanted to do. Other than that, it's a good guitar, you know. Next through design. This one actually had... Which surprised me had a, a freaking what you would call the Dunlop strap locks, which are fucking amazing. You know, strangely enough, this is not like the vehemence, vehemence I have. It's like poking out like a freaking erect penis. <laughs> but whatever. You know, this is still a great guitar, definitely for a shred. My, this is actually my first Jack's guitar. It might won't be the last one, so I really like this guitar. All right, let's up next. What do we have up here? What do we have next? What do we? Oh shit! Get the fuck off the strap! Get off the strap! <laughs> ah! Oh yeah, no. This another newbie. Hmm, you're a per tree. Well, if you saw my other unboxing, you know what this guitar is. This is a Dean. Dave Mustang Signature Series Vehement The Rust in Peace Fucking guitar, you know And these are actually ridiculously cool pickups The only problem is that they're starting to rust over Kind of like my silver one Which I will show later on With all the rest of the specs and everything I like three, six in a row Freaking Ebony Shark tooth and fucking dot and lace, which I think are fucking cool. <laughs> you know, two volumes, one tone, three way switch. You know, I'm not really a crazy tremolo guy because hell, I think for a is probably better than fucking tremolo, but whatever. <laughs> but I do have a tremolo, I do have guitar with two, I have two guitars with Kalers. And let's go on to my. Next one. Looks like we're in a row. Ah, get off. I should have took the straps off these fucking things. You know, jump it up. And here's the silver one. Silver one's pretty much the same specs, Seymour Duncan pickups. Except that silver, and I kind of put all these little cool stickers on it. Literally, you can tell that I anchor my hands right here because it's pretty much rubbing off the paint of the fucking sticker right here. And on the rest of these stickers, I looked online and, you know, I got to put Megadeth because they're my favorite band. In case you didn't know. Yeah, I'll, just like my other vehement, same specs. The only difference is the headstock right here is sh way sharper. The edge is like way sharper. The other one's more rounded. I don't know, maybe because this one's a Korean made, the other one's made in Indonesia. <laughs> but you know, same fucking, same fucking specs. See that little cool ass Dave Mustang logo right there? Freaking neck through design. After pickups. And that's my shit. <laughs> right there. Here's another Phoenix. Actually, this is my first VM. In fact, this is the, my first freaking King V guitar. It's a demo name VM. It's TX. This is the the low end version of the VM series. Unlike the only difference is a set of instead of ebony it has rosewood fingerboards with dots, which I actually put skull skull and crossbone freaking stickers on top just to make it look fucking metal, and I. Just put it all some more stickers all over here. 
specs are, are pretty much the same. The only difference is this is bolt on. I can't remember the what's the fucking woods, you know. But whatever. Help me. And these actually, these are active pickups. These came with passive, so I had them removed and put in some Seymour Duncan Blackouts. These things sound amazing. They're like my second best pickup next to the live wires, which means I really enjoy fucking active pickups. What the hell is that shit? Oh, there's a fuck. Anyway, that's what he it's in hell. Call the skull duggery because there's nothing but skulls right here. <laughs> I guess you're starting to see the trend here when it comes to these V's. Yeah, this one's a little bit different. This is a BC Rich. Funny story about this guitar when it came in. The tip right here was broken the fuck up. But I didn't care because all I care about is tone. And the tone sounded good for me back in the day because all I didn't have that much of a good ear. You know, but later on when I have the money, I'm going to have these swapped out with the Seymour Duncan blackouts. But really, the specs of these, of this guitar, this is a bolt-on, you know. This is a, originally where the freaking strap lock was. This is something I applied. This is actually a different kind of strap lock. This is like dumb lap. Can't remember what it's called. Maybe later on I'll correct myself and let you know what it's called. But these strap locks are not dumb lap. These are different kinds, and they work just as well. You know, these are just, let's, let's look at the specs here. You know, this is drainage side, Floyd Rose freaking locking nuts, Kayla tremolo, but this tremolo is the best tremolo you ever will ever fucking play. I don't care who, who the fuck you are, they're better than Floyd Rose. I never touched. And how uh, if you don't even like the Floyd Rose, you can just screw this up and oh, can lock it up if you want. It's kind of like a hard tail or whatnot. And last but not least, it's, a, it's another DC Rich. I think this is another Kerry King signature. <laughs> Look at that. The Beast V. Pretty much the same specs as the other Kerry King signature. The only difference is that it's. That's pretty much gunmetal gray. At first, I thought it was silver metal, gunmetal gray. It doesn't matter, it still looks really nice. Which I dubbed out with freaking all these stickers. And my shitty marking. Yeah, it's supposed to be six, six like satanic and shit. <laughs> and the funny thing is that when I look, read the colors that came with, you know, BC Rich Active Humbugs, this these ones actually came with um, Rockfield pickups, which which sounds so good. These are just as good, in fact, even probably better than any kind of EMG, you know. These are probably, probably rank number 3S. 3 is one of my favorite freaking pickups. These are called, from what I've heard, they're called Black Betty's. Funny thing is I looked over at freaking Rockfield's fucking website, and I can't find them. I don't know, I guess they don't sell them. They only sell them with... With a BC Rich, you know, but everything's the same, you know. Floyd Wells Locking Nuts, Kayla Trem, two volumes, one tone, selector switch, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all my guitars, and that's it. Now, for all you guitars over there, this is Metal on Metal Joe saying, Go fuck yourself and keep it metal.